morning we're going to be doing a balloon dip. I'm going to swipe my colours and then do a couple of balloon flowers on them because that's how I like my balloon dips. I've seen a lot of balloon dips and done one quite a while ago where I covered the whole canvas in the balloon dipping. Very busy for me. So to start off I'm just putting down a background, very thin background of this bronzy colour that I've mixed up and all my paints are a combination of Floetrol, a gel thickening medium and um, some Holcroft, some Global colours um, and I think just bits and pieces that I've um, picked up on the way and using as leftover. Oh, look, there's not enough paint to spread across. Am I going to let that worry me? No, I'm not going to just use that. Just I just wanted a th another colour to come up when I dip and this will still hopefully reveal once the swipe's done and the, and the balloon dip goes in. I haven't got any more of this mixed up and it really doesn't matter. It was just having some paint on the on the canvas it's not really going to affect the style at all because we're doing the swipe we're going to end up with quite a lot of paint on the canvas anyway so it was just an idea of having when the balloon dips this to have the ability to peek through and because it's a bronze and metallic when it dries that um, shimmeringness will pop up through the um, balloon dipped flower. Ooh, I've just got paint going everywhere. Okay, that's my background done and my palette done. I'm going to be using um, a really more natural kind of palette today. This is a sage green. Oh yes, and I did put some silicon in because I wanted to really try and get some nice cell movement. And when I say nice, like big blooming cells, because it is a, a balloon effect that I'm going for. Ballooning, blooming effect. How nice is this colour? I'm not sure if you can see it, because I can't even see what the um, camera is focused on. Well, I can. I know that it was in shot of the um, bigger size canvas I'm using today. I'm not exactly sure of the sizing. I know it's bigger than a 20 by 16. Anyhow, let's just keep going. So just doing some nice zigzags so that the paint colours can go through each other in the swipe and I get that multicoloured kind of look. And coming into the lighter colours now, this is an, like a grey eggshell-y kind of colour. Well, maybe it's a Kaisercraft because I said eggshell and Kaisercraft do have a really nice cream and it's the cream base is a gray tone in the background rather than a yellow and I really did like it and this looks like it possibly is it and coming into what have I got left oh yeah just this beautiful light gold A lot of paint down. Shall I roll some off? I think I might because I've still got to do the swiping. Alright. And I'm going to swipe in a navy blue. Alright. So I'm just going to stretch this paint around the canvas a bit, making sure that it's all covered and so that I don't have too much issue with sagging. I did do a couple of coats, no not a couple, just one coat of white acrylic yesterday to help firm the canvas up so that it could cope with the amount of paint that I knew was coming to it. I'm tilting it all the way this side now so that that side can get covered and I'm not going to worry so much about the sides um, because 
they'll either be covered organically with some of the nice drips and then I can fill those other parts in. Yeah, they look nice. I'll show you on, upon the dry. Okay, just drying my hands off of that paint that's drizzled on there and then getting ready for my swiping movement. <coughs> so swiping in navy blue. Um, it's actually a little bit brighter than navy. Pulling it down the middle. Here we go. Very nice. Another little line of it just because. And using a folder, plastic folder cover, getting the grip and pulling it down, controlled, no rush, nothing as much as going on in terms of having to rush, nothing dreadful is going to happen. Oh, didn't like how I pulled that paint flicking over the top there. And I turn my folder over and then I'll give it a wipe before I do the other side. Oh, bugger, hey? Not to worry. I'll just grab my paper towel and then run it up like that to clean it like this. Probably should have wet it, wet my paper towel. It would have made it easier. I've got some baby wipes there. Kind of a bit disorganized this morning because I'm heading off to Melbourne but really wanted to get this done as part of a commitment to the collaboration group. Oh okay stop doing that because I'm just messing that up. All right just bear with me I'm gonna get a baby wipe. <sighs> They're just here so I'm not walking off which I am. Um, so often do, don't I? Uh, next time I'll have a wet paper towel next to me. I wasn't quite set up enough, I don't think. Yeah, but as I was saying, I really just wanted to make sure I had this done so that I can show you the finished result dry. Really, um, I'm trying... I think I've mentioned it a few times, really trying to get into a more organised habit so that you can see things dry because we know that things do change a lot. All right, I'm going to pull this part down one more time because I don't like it um, at all. I, I know you can see why. There we go. And we've got some interesting shape cells, some blooming up like flowers, so that's interesting. And then... Flipping that around and wiping that off. And now coming to the back. I think I should try and turn my canvas. Oh, it'll just be easier for the swipe. There we go. How's that? Am I even? I don't want to have it so that it slides off. Nothing worse than coming back to your paint all slid off, your painting. Nice. Oh, I missed a bit there. Possibly could put a bit more of the um, navy down, maybe. What do you reckon? Oh, I know I need another baby wipe that one's saturated in paint and totally just smudging the paint around rather than cleaning it. We clean our swiping tools so that we get a nice finish. Let's see how we go here. Might just put a bit more navy here. There. And here we go. missed it again it's all right good funny how I've missed those spots isn't it I must be a bit like unco in myself well we all know I am a bit unco in myself that's no surprise or secret okay let's just do this 
heel. Swipe that bit there. Oh, look, and now in that corner bit, I'm just in a, if I fix it here, it'll go wonky there mode. And if I'm going to do that, I think I probably need a bit more navy up the top. Oh, I'm getting paint everywhere over here. I've tried so hard to really keep it um, nice and in control. I'm the messiest artist. It certainly drives my family bananas. They do put up with a lot in every possible space that can have something weighing on it does in my house. Oh, look at that. How can I miss that twice? It's quite phenomenal, isn't it? Oh, well, that just isn't helpful. Let's turn this this way and do it one last effort. And... Oh, now I feel so much more relieved. And I do want to just do that bit there. Oh, I missed. Oh, that that will be all right. No, it won't. Oh, no, it won't. It's me just wiping some more paint off. Okay, here we go. There. All right, now there's still quite a bit of paint here, so I think I should do one more swipe just to help the colors underneath have an opportunity to be revealed. Because even through the torching, you know, there's still, because there's so much navy that needs, it needs to come through. Um, and I do want it to have an opportunity to sing. All right, here we go. And then I might have to just put, take the swiping tool off myself, don't you reckon? There. I'm just pushing that onto the side of the canvas. All right. Okay, let's just put that down. Let's give my hands a bit of a wipe. They're very very covered in everything and let's give this a bit of a torch and then let's give it a bit of a ballooning and then I'd say we're done and it's looking really really pretty so far I don't want to have too many cells coming up I want the balloon flowers to have an opportunity to be the feature but I think he is looking a little bit vacant um, and I'd like just chance for something to come up. Nothing massive. Very thick there. Oh, I need someone to take the torch off me. I'm going too far now. Alright, let's stop because I'm going to do some ballooning, balloon swiping. Well, balloon dipping. So I've got a paper towel in one hand and my balloon in the other and I'm just literally going to push my balloon in pull out and wipe off and I'll do a couple of those throughout here and we'll see how we go oh, lots of paint it took off but it does look really nice um, when I get a chance to bring you down heel, I'm sure you'll agree it looks really, really nice. Let's just go off angle. I did a little twist with mine just to have a bit of difference with it. That one needs to be done again. It's got a lot of paint on it. Might roll that one a bit. There we go. Balloons look really nice dipped too. here where that part looks like there's still a seam that's good and over here
really trying to keep my balloon nice and clean of paint. Okay. And we'll do one near this edge here. Might roll that one right like that. Oh, took almost too much paint off. Well, not almost. I'd say I did take too much paint off. Oh, look, I've decided to dip onto the side. It does look interesting. Well, it's no good for you because you can't even see it, so I really should just stop. Okay, so I'm just having a look at my composition. I think I'd like one here maybe one here and then I think I should call it quits. So easy to overdo it because we've got some really nice negative space, which is really nice for the eye to have a space to stop and rest. And within my balloon dipping areas, we've got some gorgeous features and effects coming up. So I'm gonna do one here and we'll just start with that. Maybe one here, and I think I should just leave it then, because as we know, things are going to continue to shift and change over the coming hour. So I sort of rolled that one and then twisted it towards the end. I'm going to go back in and twist it a bit more. Yeah, and the paint that, you know, it's quite a thick lot of paint, but it's really um, lovely how the paint folds back in upon itself. I might just do a little one within those. That little cluster of cells I really like, it's like a blooming flower, so I might just do that because I just really had the desire to. Um... And how are the corners? They're looking okay. I think that's it. Oh, no, I don't like that square bit there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. I'll just do a gentle one there, just to break that line of paint down. And probably there, too. In fact, definitely there. And definitely here. And now, that's it. I'm walking away. So I'll bring you down. I have to take my gloves off because they're so heavily saturated. Oh, I feel like that line there is annoying me. That's interesting. All right, I've got to stop now because I'm just fiddle farting. It does not look like the rest, but I still don't mind it. Okay, you're coming down. Oh. All right. So this is the view I saw. And let's go in. Do you like it? I quite like it. And I can't wait for it to dry. And then we'll be able to see some of these really nice golds and coppers reveal more. See the darker copper that I put down has come up through there and then there's the lighter gold. It is a bit hard to tell while it's um, still wet, but it's gonna look really, really pretty. And as always, there's some areas that I prefer and others that I'm a bit disappointed in, but overall it's pretty cute. I do like the colour combination of the sage and that and that really 
nice eggplant color really nice 